Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back today. Well, you've guessed it, we're down to Kedapathos. We're in the new car park area, and that's where the buses park up just over there. So, if you're going to go on a tour bus like the Ocean Vision bus, for example, that's the white one over there. You've got the Pathos C sightseeing tour, sorry, and then you've got another Pathos sightseeing tour. So, you come down into here. And that tour kicks off at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock and 4.30 and takes you on an open air or if it's too hot you can go in the lower deck and it takes you on a tour around the Pathos area. So that's where you'd come and if you're wondering where we are this is Prada Shops over here and of course just over there is the Harbour Cafe and that's the Blue Blue Mediterranean Sea. That's where the promenade ends and that's where the harbour begins. Anyway, without further ado it's time to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world, and her name is Ochin Gracilia Labouf. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and and again. So stick with us. Should we go for a little wander around the Kedapathos Harbour area? Yeah. She was admiring her beauty in the beautiful dark glass of this rather nice Nissan Boxy. And she's a very, very Foxy lady, indeed. Anyway, it is actually yes, corrected me. It's a Toyota Foxy. They all look the same to me. Now, just across the road of here, you've got a coffee shop and a very very good gift shop. Mr. Jeff, you were wondering where Ochin Grisivi Labouf bought her latest pair of sunglasses, and guess what? They were bought from here. So let's have a look if they've got any in stock. They've got some Dior. They've got some Gucci. They've got some rather nice ones, that's for sure. Are your sunglasses in stock, Chrissy Viola Booth? I think so. Because Mr. Jeff wants to treat his good lady wife to a pair. Yeah, it, here, it appears. But they are, oh, but perhaps they are scattered around the shop. There's lots and lots of sunglasses around. Yeah. And this is where we came, and this is where she fell in love with them, along with a hat. Chrissy Oh, here we go. They are nice, but not for me. I don't... No, it's not my style. You see? It's not you. Not for you. They are nice. She likes anything, to be honest. Not Sunglasses, anything. hats, clothes, anything you can think of. Um, she even likes little elephants dangling on a dangly thing. Don't you? Oh, here we are. Hats, hats, and hats. Right, stick with us. We're going to join the Cato Pathos Promenade and Harbour area, and we are going to take a left and we're going to walk the promenade the wrong way. If we were to go right, we would walk the Pathos Harbour the right way. If you follow the channel, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. One of our little jokes. So, just over here, coming up now, is the crisscrossing crossroads because that's the Harbour Restaurant Cafeteria. That's the end of the promenade, and that then, of course, is the wood kiosk, which means it's the start of the harbour area. Ocean Vision is in the dock today. In fact, I think we'll go and have a little monkey around in that boat a little bit later on. You see me? Ocean Vision is the biggest boy and the nicest boy, I believe, on the on the eye, eye. On the block. On the, yeah. on the sea, on the oceans. So stick with us. We've got one or two gumbaroos about. We'll go and have a look and see what Mr. Chris has got to say, because there he is. He's gumbarrowing with somebody. He's got a big smile on his face. There he is. He's already seen us. He's negotiating a huge, huge business deal. There he is. You all right, Mr. Chris? Welcome back. Welcome back, and thank you for having us back. Are you busy? No, today. Not today. It's Sunday. It's a funny day, isn't it? Funny day. What does Mr. Chris do? Mr. Chris, he does Mediterranean sea sponges. All sorts of little ones, medium size, some more mediums, some bigger, rougher ones. He also has got some very, very rough ones, which is out of stock at the moment, and sells lots and lots of other artifacts to go with it. And as you can see, he's winding down for the season, and the stock has almost run off. He also has a son. Yes, believe it or not, he does have a son. His son's name is Mike. And Mr. Mike has got a diving school. It's called Into the Blue, and he's got a Facebook page, Into the Blue CY. His contact number is 00357 if you're outside Cyprus or you are on the international number. And then the inside number for Cyprus is 9621-8976. He is Paddy registered and he is on Trip Advisor. And he's a star and he'll tailor make 
a special scuba diving trip especially for you. Thanks, Mr. Chris. Thank you. We'll carry on with our travels. We've got a superstar over here, and her name is Miss Jenny. She's the greatest braider in downtown Cato Paphos. You come here, some examples of some of her victims from before, and she has literally braided the life out of these people. And there's some of the ideas, and some of the twines, and some of the beads and the bits and bobs. And this lady's having a life braided out of her. <laughs> She'll look after it. Thanks, Miss Jenny. You all right, Mr. Mark? Yeah. Good star. Absolute star. The next one on the block, well... His name is Mr. Constantinos. He's the one with the Cyclops sunglasses. There he is. How are you doing? Good? I'm Ooh, busy. I'm Look at busy, that. Busy, busy. This man is busy at work. Look how Look at beautiful that. is the flowers. Absolutely Look. beautiful. 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 There's five. Beautiful. In fact, there's another one. There's yeah, number six. One. Yeah, no, 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 so there's six bracelets in process. So it's a mass order. What are they? That's what you're thinking. What are they? Well, what they are is your name on a grain of rice. Up to a maximum of 28 letters. That's our little joke, because that was for a Chinese man. But he did struggle with the pronunciation Both and the spelling yeah, of yeah. the last bit. 26 would I, yeah. So, wait for it, here comes the name. Yeah, well, no, would I did 26 letters. But 28, it was 28. It was difficult. Because the, it was a long name, uh, Chinese, so it's online, Chu Chu, Li, Long, Li, Lang, and then. But 26 and two, three letters is what the um on the end. So that is what's problem. So the oo on the end was a problem of how to spell it. It's a name, you know, because yes. sign link in oh. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. That is. Ooh. Yeah, that is. So we're not making fun, that was the person's name, but there was the confusion on how it's spelt, so that last bit which is the oh. was left off the grain of rice. Anyway. So every time they want to know the full name, the gentleman from China phones up Mr. Constantinus and he goes wang wing wong 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 and then he finishes off with a was good people and beautiful yes. people. It was like we talk for the Chinese yes. sometimes, you know. Like we are joking, you know, anyway. Yeah? yeah. And we met them as well, and they were absolute stars. They really, really were great people. So, it puts your name on a grain of rice. So you can put little coloured roses in there, blue roses, red roses, all sorts of bits and bobs. And when it's blown up, that's how it would look. So it doesn't have to be a name. It could be fantasy, for example. That could be a cat's name. We've got Katie, friends. All sorts of ideas, could be for your cat, your dog, your auntie, your uncle, your next door neighbour, your enemy, or even for the love of your life, we saw Ching, we see the air, and the roof. We are just talking with Mr. Constantinos, and he's saying, how nice sometimes to be get rid of my wife. Ah. <laughs> oh. You see how happy he is? Yeah. If I was you, I'd be very careful because I think your wife watches. <laughs> he understood she's actually already trying to hit him through the screen. Because his beautiful wife, Miss Katerina, speaks very, very good English, as she comes to understand. And she is subscribed and she does watch some of our videos. So, you never know, when we come round tomorrow, Mr. Constantinos may be there no more. As you may have watched in a previous video, I'm going to get eaten and tortured and all this sort of stuff. I think she's going to get on a plane, come from Skiathos in Greece, which is not that far away. Or perhaps she'll get on a canoe and start paddling like crazy. She'll come over here with a gun and execute him and take over the business and make all the money herself. Proceed. We'll, fi we'll find Constantinos with a bruised eye under there, somewhere there on a face. Maybe whole face this way. You never know. I think she's going to knock seven bells out of him. That's for sure. Proceed. So, we've been photobombed, you never know. We'll get ahead of them, and you never know, they might say, hello, watching the see you the booth. Right, stick with us, we're going to get up the Gate of Paphos Promenade, and we're going to take you with us, and we're going to show you some of the businesses, some of the shops, restaurants and bars along the way. The Blue Memories, the Castle View restaurant is above, and that means the Captain Bistro is just down there. On the very end, the man in the blue T-shirt, his name is Mr. Michael. He's the man in charge today, and he's the man that will invite you in and greet you and make sure that you are very, very well looked after. You all right, Michael? Good? Busy? Pretty busy. Pretty busy indeed, as you can see. Reason for that, Paphos Harbour and the Promenade is the busiest place in Paphos. And, of course, we've got the greatest, greatest view in the world. Have a look at that. doesn't get any better than that. Well, it does actually, if you have a look at that. 
stick with us, we're going to continue. Opticians on the corner. That's a chain. There's three branches in Paphos, one in the Mall, one in Uptown Paphos, and one in Downtown Cater Paphos. You've got the Borsa Bursa, Bella, Upmarket gift shop. Sells genuine Beverly Hills Polo Club and various other brands. You've got a factory shop selling T-shirts with your slogans on and beachwear. And then after that, you've got the Mar Blanco Cafe Bistro. Again, quite a busy restaurant cafe, open from very, very early in the morning. Serves good food, good breakfast, good lunch. And of course, you can even go there for your evening meal. Oh, just the snack. I remember uh, in the other, in the other kiosk, we were passing through in the very hot early days. And the cool air was coming towards you. So Yes. They believe in leaving their air con on, and I mean at max. In fact, they've got far too much aircon in there, and they actually open their windows and let that aircon come out onto the street. So, on a summer's evening, we would often, but well, if you're looking for us, you'd often find us standing outside there, cooling down in that free air conditioning. Anyway, more shops, more kiosks along the way. Have a look. That's where you'll find Miss Nadia hanging out. They've got an uptown Pano Papos branch as well. And you've got more for less. I think you understand what they sell scarves, hats, gifts, key rings, all sorts of tin openers and that kind of stuff Homer's Diamond Shop and of course on the end you've then got the wooden pub then you've got George's Optical House sunglasses and prescription glasses obviously and then you've got the B.A. Bacchus restaurant bar yes Jeremy Simon forever it will now be known as the B.A. Bacchus bar and I ain't getting on our aeroplane with you and stop your jibber jabbering that's for sure but anyway we've got a plan and this road is becoming a bit dangerous because the evening time it's closed and the daytime it's not. So you have to be aware that the cars will be going around on this very area on the daytime. And close to the evening time, the road is closed and you can work uh, in a freeway. Yes. Just a word of warning, the hotel road comes all the way from the hotels and it joins the top of the promenade which is this cobbled area, this rather beautiful area. And in the daytime, this road is open, but from three o'clock onwards, the road is closed to passing traffic. But obviously that causes quite a lot of confusion because people tend to come out at night en masse, wander up and down wherever they want to go, cross the roads with their children, that sort of stuff. If they perhaps come out in the daytime, once or twice, they are unaware of the cars, and sometimes the road's very quiet, but all of a sudden from nowhere comes a car. So please, please always do your green cross code. Please look left, look left, look right, and look right. Never ever just walk between these bollards because often the cars are distracted looking at the view or something else, shall we say. Pacific? Yeah, or the shops. You can uh, pay attention yeah, to the shops. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. For that split second, oh, as your this. little one runs out. Showing, there we are. This you. is the Paphos sightseeing tour. So that's one of those buses that drives around, open air. So people are having a great, great view. And it literally patrols the whole of the Cato Path Force and the harbour area. And it's a great, great excursion. Everyone says it's a great time. Plenty of fresh air, obviously, as the bus travels around. Over here, you've got the Leonardo's restaurant. You've got an ice cream parlour. And then you've got one of the most popular restaurants in the whole of Path Force, which is the Osun restaurant, which has split itself into quite a few different types of cuisine. And every time we've eaten there, and everyone's told us the food is always very very good indeed next door to that is a pharmacy and then next door to that is probably the greatest Chinese restaurant in the whole of the Paphos area and it's known as Chloe's great location and it's an absolute work of art on the outside and on the inside and the food and the presentation well it's beyond beautiful and it's very very tasty indeed so stick with us we are almost at the top of the Cato Paphos promenade Let's have a look and see what we see the other booth. Well, I would like to say that it's a very pleasant work around this area. So at the moment being the temperature is not very high and the humidity is totally disappeared, I think. So. Yes, the humidity has now gone, should we say, to an acceptable level where your glasses don't fog up and you don't tend to, being a man, sweat that much and being a woman, perspire that much. Temperatures around about 28 degrees, so most people would call that perfect, especially if you're from Yorkshire, because you need a woolly coat because it's only 12 degrees. Donuts! Donuts! 
Stick with us. We've got a bit of a fetish donuts at the moment. So we're going to show you some of these donuts. Look at this. Some beautiful chocolate donuts, some beautiful sugared donuts. Wow. Hmm? Look at those red velvet donuts. Yeah. Donut with a biscuit. Donut with chocolate cream. Donuts with white cream. My God, they've got some donuts. Look at those for donuts. Wow. It doesn't get any better than that. I think I would choose that one there. Yes, I was it looking at that exactly beautiful. now, right now. So, Mr. Russell, if you want me to buy your donut, you chose the one you want. I'll buy it, wrap it up, and I'll deliver it to your house. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching. We're loving you to eat and come to eat the donut with us. Thanks for watching. Have a look at that for review.